Here is what the under the sink cabinet looks like currently. We have a lot of cleaning supplies, some art supplies, um, things for doing dishes, paper towels, paper bags, garbage bags, all of those things are stored down here. So I am hoping to clean this up a little bit, get rid of a few really old things that we're not using, and uh, sort things into different bins. just got done taking everything out of the cabinet under the sink and now I am trying to figure out different categories for each type of cleaner that is down there or things that I want to keep down there so I actually purchased six of these kind of made a mistake trying to put them down there and really only four fit so I'm trying to get everything kind of um, combined into four categories and figure out what I can do with the rest These are the items that I found that I don't need. I recycled, threw away a few, and a few are even going into our garage sale. This pile of items is being relocated throughout our house. The art supplies will go with the other art supplies that we have, and a few cleaning supplies need to go into the basement. I had these leftover magic erasers and wiping cloths that I am not going to keep under the sink anymore ever since I started folding uh, these cloth items that I have in the kitchen seems like I have plenty of space in here to have more cloth so this is where I'm going to store these extra cloths. These are the four categories that I came up with for the different bins. The first one has all of the supplies that I need for washing dishes. The second bin has miscellaneous cleaners in it that I can use anywhere in the house. This third bin has products that I use to clean the bathroom and drain out to clean out the drains. So those are all in one bin together. And the fourth bin is just miscellaneous items that I wanted to keep under the sink like a watering can and a couple other cleaners that I use around the house. I'm really happy with how organized this feels. We have plenty of space for the garbage bag box, kept plenty of brown paper bags, and now that we have bins, the brown bags are really kept straight and kept upright, so that's very nice. That back bin there is the miscellaneous bin. We have a watering can and some other cleaners in there. Front and center we have things to wash dishes, and of course I don't need two giant uh, dishwashing soaps but that is what I have so I will use that up and over on the side a bin for cleaners that um, we can use anywhere in the house and in the back a bin for bath cleaners I don't really have room in my bathroom to keep those so I keep them under the kitchen sink and then in the back you can see a couple paper towels and one larger all-purpose cleaner that hopefully after I use up some of these smaller cleaners I will just mostly be using that one all-purpose cleaner that's way in the back so I feel really good about this we got rid of some things that I showed you earlier helped make some of this organization possible and hopefully these labels will also make it so that the rest of my family will be able to see where things go and that will just help us stay organized and know what we are running low on and what we have plenty of I wanted to tell you a few thoughts that I had as I was cleaning under the sink. At first I thought, oh, I don't really want to do this one. It's not that important. It's just cleaning supplies. Not going to be that exciting of a video, but there are a few things that I learned that I think might help you. So one thing is, if you haven't used it in years, there might be a reason. We got this to um, brighten up our floors, our wood floors and we haven't used it in years and as I was reading it it says for laminate, vinyl, and linoleum. It looks like wood floors on there but it's not for wood floors so I guess there was a reason that we never actually chose to use it. So that's going bye-bye. We don't need that. 
another thing that I learned is that sometimes as you are decluttering and cleaning and organizing, you will realize you don't really have the product that you need and now you know you can go you can go uh, buy it. So um, I have this window cleaner that I got last year. I absolutely hate it. It does not work. It streaks all over the place. So I would never buy that again, but now I know I need some kind of a window cleaner. So I'm going to go purchase that because spring cleaning is coming and I need to get those windows clean. And my last thought was going through and organizing, having a bin for like each area in your home, like I have a kitchen bin, I have a bath bin, um, things like that. You realize when you have duplicates and you definitely don't need to buy that item for a while. I have two of these giant soap dispensers, which we definitely will not need to buy any more of these for a while. But if you would have asked me how many I have, I really wouldn't have known. Now I know I probably don't need soap for a year. As a reminder, this is what the cabinet under the sink looked like before I started this declutter. Very unorganized and things just thrown in. And even though this isn't glamorous or beautiful, it is way more organized and I am so excited that this will function really well for our family.